Either way, let's just go back underground, you guys. I don't know. I, I definitely should go make Agon Base for the cave guys. So we can just go teleport down there, right? But I guess right now, it's not really the highest priority. I, I, I want to go make that molten armor. And you know what? I kind of want to go look it up. I'd hate to do it, but I kind of want to go look up the molten armor itself and actually see. Uh-oh, I hear that. Nah, whatever. We're going to pass me anyways. You know what? I'm not going to look it up. I'm not I'm not going to spoil myself. But I, I'm, I'm very curious. It, I feel like the molten armor is going to be the armor that is fire resistance, right? Like, I'm, I'm able to, like, not catch on fire. I might even be able to swim in lava while wearing it, perhaps. What in the world happened here? What happened to all the torches? I don't know. Hmm. Probably the uh, spiders and stuff happened to them. Either way. Yeah, let me just head back down to, to the Hexstone Lair. Yeah, it's not going to take too much time, but it is kind of tedious, kind of. Let's see up here. Yeah. Kind of kind of winding through all this stuff and trying to remember, like, what was the specific pathway that I took to get to where I was. So, uh, yeah, I go up, and then there's a big... Yeah, there you go. Big platform there. Perfect. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I might not even need to pause here, you guys. I think we might be fine as is, because, like, right here, yeah. And here's the gold. Yeah, I don't think we need to pause. Kill this, uh, skeleton right there. Yeah, he's gone now. I don't need to worry about him. Yeah, then down here is, like, the molten biome or whatever. Yeah, I don't need to pause at all. That's good. And there we go. And then we went here, and then we dug into this. And then here. And this is the ash that we dug into, and then we started fighting that one creature. Yep. We're here already, you guys. Let's go to the right this time, because we went to the left a lot. Just a moment ago. Oh, yep. There's some uh, mana things right there. Might as well grab those, just because why not? And if we go down... Now, we have the obsidian skull. I want to go stand on that uh, that one building. Uh oh, wait, what? There's a worm or something here too. Oh God! Fired something. Wait, was that the name of the creature? Or did I just pick up? Yeah, uh, I picked up a fire blossom from the creature. Let's get a cooked fish. Boom. Holy heck! Yeah, there's a giant worm thing there in the in in this. But hold on, did I take fire damage right there? I'm not taking fire damage right now. Uh oh, that's good. Now what about? Oh, yo, oh, mm -hmm, still taking lava damage. Glad that I myth busted that, though, you guys. But now we can get... Okay, that's just my sword swinging. Okay, that's good. But now we could actually go... Uh, we could mine the... Look at that. Hexstone right there just out in the open. Let's mine it. Mine that. We can go into these... Uh, obs oh, and well, yeah, we still have to watch out for actual lava, though. So we're not impervious to lava. Don't want to get that confused, you guys. Golly, we're taking a lot of damage. Kill up. Boom. Oh, there's another one. Oh, my gosh. Narrowly avoided him right there. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get him with this. There we go. Is he dead? I think I killed him right there. Nice. I need to watch out, you guys. Because there may be uh, a lot of those guys around here. I'll easily die. There you go. Got 11 silver right there. That's all right. It's a mana right there randomly. There's two things of lava there, so I need to really watch out. What is down here, though? Like, is it... If it has an ups... Ooh. That's a lot down there. Hmm. Let's do this. There we go. That's good. All right. Ah, uh, do this too. There we go. All right. Uh, man, I don't know. Ooh. Never mind that. Uh, let's get it with this. That's ah, not gonna work. At least I can still go down here, but I'm kind of trapped right now, you guys. <laughs> oh no. I really need to mine that though. Hold on. Uh, mine this. There we go. I'm like, I'm able to, like, reroute it temporarily, but, like, I still have to go through this lava eventually. Man. I'm, okay, I'm full health right now. Okay, hold on. Can I get that now? Still can't get that pot. Oh, that's, okay, that's not one of those breakable pots. Okay, that's, that's why. Oh, that guy, oh, oh! He's shooting through the door and stuff. I'm able to hit his, his magic with my, my own magic, so that's good, but, uh... Up here, let's go through the fire. Oh, there you go. I went through the fire, but there's that guy right there, too. What in the world is this thing? Bathtub. <laughs> well, I got a heckin', like, heckin' bathtub right there, you guys. That's good. <laughs> All right, well, we got a lot of hex down around here, you guys. We need to watch out. Mm, there's a table and stuff down there. What else is down there, though? Oh, man, there's an imp guy right there. We need to take care of him. There you go. I'm trying to, like, scope this area out, basically. Like, there's some lava there. Am I able to plug that up? Hmm. Maybe not through the wall, right? Yeah, maybe we'll just stand on the table. Yeah, I put a... Uh, ash block. Can I put that there? I don't know. Put that right... 
There. Oh, that, that did plug it up. Nice. Awesome. Well, let's kill this fire imp. We might be able to get all those hex stones down here, you guys. Now remember, it still spawns in lava, right? So we need to... I still, I'm still going to dig around it, though. Obsidian chair, hexstone bricks. Oh my gosh. There you go. Oh my gosh. This is still risky as butt. I still got like one layer of ash stone or whatever separating me from that, so that's good. So I'm picking up some hex stone here, so that's good. Oh my gosh. Hex stone is falling. Oh my god, look at that. It's flowing over there, so that's good. Hmm. Do I want to dig down? I don't know. It's so risky, you guys. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm going to stand here. I'm going to mine the hex stone from like two layers below. There you go. Yeah, look at that. I'm able to pick it up, which is crazy. I, I don't know why or how or what, but I'm not complaining. So there you go. I'm getting that. Okay, yeah, look at out. If as now that I'm able to stand on the hex stone, I could easily mine it like this. And then of course, now that we have the top layer, we're just mine it from the sides like this. Oh my gosh. We've got this down to a T now, and I'm not bragging. Alright. Man, my heart thing, like my actual like literal glowing heart guy, like I keep I keep thinking he's like some sort of enemy, like shooting stuff at me. But now this room here. What am I going to do about this? Should I just dig up? It's <sighs> a lot of stuff. Oh man, there's literal demons over there. Yeah, I don't know what to do. With I probably should have. I really should have plugged those up. Like I could easily plug those up, but I have like full health right now, so it's not that big of a deal. But uh, let's do the same thing we just did on this now. So let's see. I, dig, I can't dig that down there, but I can get these right here. So I can dig like three blocks below me, which is good. I like that. There we go. Got it. And got that nice. We got another one of these creatures. Whew, man, we need to be really, really careful here. And, oh, you don't even... Okay. Okay, that's in the background. That's good. It's good to know that uh, this is basically technically in the background whenever I walk through the lava like that. So that's awesome. Now, uh, this wall of flesh guy despawned. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. At least for right now. Because he doesn't have a, a boss health bar at the bottom of the screen. So that's... <gasps> big thing of Hexstone over here at the very top. That's great. All right. We already saw how effective the end. This will just go straight into lava, actually. You know what? Let's, uh, let's switch back to the Miramasa. Let's just hit shift as we mine this Hexstone. And then there you go. Mine. Or, uh, kill these guys. There you go. More Hexstone here. Yeah, look at that. The lava just flows down. Man, that's a lot of lava. Golly. Okay, let's just mine like three below. Yeah, here you go. Like three below us. Like we did earlier. Let's get rid of this here. Man, this obsidian uh, skull is so valuable. Like, I am so glad I got it, you guys. Holy heck. We're able to get so much Hexstone now. And that's all that right there. That lava's still pouring down. If that lava equalizes... Oh, imp guy. Oh, God, he knocked me into lava right there. Jeez. Okay, that that, that equalized right there. You go. Oh, more of these guys. I'm going to get this out. There you go. Nice. I think some of the coins got vaporized from the heckin' lava, but not that big of a deal. I don't care. Some of this lava. Oh, my gosh. Or hexstone. But this, this hexstone is just going to keep on, right? Oh, imp, imp, imp. Oh, no. Oh, we were in lava right there. Oh my gosh, and a demon, and we got a demon over here too. Oh my god. Heal up. Oh no, I'm in lava. I'm in, I'm, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. No. Man. Man, that's, uh, I lost another gold. Man. Man, we were doing such a good job there, and egg, and demon literally shows up. All right, well, how much stuff did we get there? Oh yeah, we didn't get any obsidian, unfortunately. We got, uh, well, we have some here. Already, but uh, we got 60 hex stone, right? That's really good right there. Considering that was like half the time, or... I don't know, maybe even less than we spent down there. We have some more obsidian here, so we can go up here to the uh, hex forge. Make some brick. Yeah, there we go. Hex hexstone bars out of that. Eight more of those. So we're up to like 40 or something like that. So we're, we could actually make, what, the boots and the chest piece now, right? We're, we're still just short of getting the hat, which is the cheapest thing, I think. What do we have? Uh, we have... Yeah, we just need obsidian. Hmm. I don't know if there's anywhere I know right now where obsidian's like really easy to find. Or uh, lava's really easy to find. Actually, hold on. Can we just get water? Like get literal, but because we had a bucket really early on. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, might be able to just make another one, right? I might be able to. Hold on, let's go here. Uh, let's open up the chest, actually. There you go. 
Let's see, is there a bucket on there? There is, yeah, empty bucket. So I can use this. There you go. Fill it up with water and, you know, basically do what we do in uh, Minecraft and just pour water on top of lava, I guess. That'll probably be a really good way of getting uh, obsidian. There you go, fill that up with water. That's good. Let's go put some of those hex stone, like the bathtub. <laughs> Let's go put that up in the uh, extra. There you go. More structures. There you go. Chairs and stuff. And how many uh, ingots do we have now? We have uh, 41. Yeah, that, that, that's good. We need uh, four more, actually, to get a... We might actually be able to make that, right? Yeah, because you need a... Uh, if I get 10 obsidian right now, I'm able to get 10 more of those bars. So we can get a full set of that here in just a bit, you guys. We just need to go down to... Not even really that far, just at the bottom of our hecavator, right? Place down some water. I wonder if you're even even allowed to place water in that, like, heck area. Or if it'll, like, sizzle, you know? Or I wonder if it'll even survive in my inventory. I wonder if I just... Having water in my inventory is just going to turn into a bucket if I'm that deep, right? That'd be really funny. Let's just go down here. Yeah, there's plenty of water, too. Like, if I if I run out... If I use that water and it's, like, a one-time thing, which I think it might be, I, I can just replenish that, that bucket pretty easily. So, uh... About right here, right? Oh, wait, no, yeah, here's the cobwebs, the spiders and stuff. Yeah, right here. And then to the left, I know there's lava, all right? Yeah, there's lava. Oh, wait! Tim, wait, what? Why is this guy even... What? Wait, hold on, wait, what? Wizard hat? Who is Tim? There are some who call him. What happened there? What? What did I just do? Oh, God. Hold on, what happened here? Oh, go! Something's knocking me to lava. I don't know what it was right there, but... Oh, hey, look at that obsidian. Uh, water bucket. Okay, yeah, that does make some obsidian, but, like, it goes away so I can fast. So, yeah, it makes sense to get, like, multiple of those buckets. Uh, I'm like, yeah, there is water right there. Wait, what in the world? What was I... What took him so easy to... Uh, to took me so long to kill those guys right there? Sheesh. Let's get, uh... Let's put that right there. Sure. So, let's fill this bucket up there. Just pour it back over here. Get, uh, some more obsidian. So, uh... There you go, perfect. That's fine. Alright. Well, uh, that's probably going to be good, at least for right now. There you go. Crawdad right there. Yeah, we're going to worry about him in just a bit. There you go, get some water. And we have some water flowing right now, so that's good. So we got some water flowing, we can dig down here. Grab some of the obsidian that's just at the top. Now, let's remember, we cannot mine... Uh, oh yeah, that water's, uh, already spilt onto that obsidian. Now the water's gone, so yeah, we need to... Probably should have filled that bucket up again, but... Where is it? Uh, yep, there it is right there. And that's kind of a very convenient place for water to just randomly be, so that's good. I'm not complaining in one bit. Place the, uh, water there, that's good. You know, it's placed a pretty good amount of them. I'm like, I should have gotten multiple buckets, to be quite honest, but... I'm like, I didn't know. <laughs> it only be able to, like... There you go. Yeah, look at that, you can actually see the water rising there. And I love this very convenient thing right here, it's very, very nice. I don't know why the- Oh, you know, I probably could just, uh, pour that water on all that lava that's down there, but whatever. Let's mine all this now, this obsidian, it'll just keep lowering as the, uh, water... ...keeps going down. There you go, that's fine. Man... I really need a lot of egg and water. Like, actually, multiple buckets. Like, a bunch of egg and buckets of water. Just to take care of all this egg and lava over here, you guys. There you go. I'm going I'm going to do, like, a few more trips with this, though. Because this, this water's already, like, physically just getting lower, you can tell. So I don't think I have too many more trips of, uh, filling up this bucket and pouring over there. I don't think I have too many more trips of that ahead of me right now, you guys, unfortunately. Alright, well, this is the lowest spot. And it's not going any, uh, the water keeps going down here, so... There you go. Let's just mine the obsidian here. As the water touches the lava and turns it back into obsidian. That's nice. How much do we have? Because we only need like 10. Yeah, we've got like 20 right now, so that's good. So we actually have uh, way more than we actually need, so that's good. Uh, my heart is like stuck over there. <laughs> do I want to teleport back or do I want to get more while I'm down here? I think, I think I'm going to teleport back. So let's teleport back. Go back home. There you go. So now we got the 10. Is that an NPC or something? I need to find that mission. Yeah, we're, we're really safe now. Or, uh, achievement. What was that? Slayer? Might be this, because I killed a, uh, a wizard guy there, matching a tire. It was called, like, Tim, or something. Or, they call me it... some sort of weird name. Oh, there it is, right? Yeah, kill Tim! Who is Tim?! Uh-oh, what happened? Is it just a rainstorm? I think it might be. There's, like, crazy music going on right now, you guys. <laughs> But I think I might be able to make the, uh, the armor now, so that's going to be good. Do I still have the Okay, so I still have the obsidian, the hexstone in my inventory, let's make the- I can make another, uh, skull right there, I'm not going to do that. Oh yeah, you could combine the skull together with the, the shield, right? Yeah, hold on. 
Uh, let's do that here just a bit. Let's make all these. There you go. Twelve. Golly, twelve more of those knights. Where do I do that? Just here? Just in general? I think, right? Where do I do that? Uh, I don't see a shield down here. Yeah, I'm not seeing any sort of shield. Hold on. Scarab bomb? What in the world? Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to make the whole molten set now, though. So, molten helmet, eight defense. Nice. Chest piece, breastplate, whatever you want to call it. Greaves. Boom. And after all that, we still have eight hexstone bars left over. Nice. All right, you guys. Well, let's put all this on, shall we? Boom, boom, boom. Now, what is the bonus? 17% extra melee damage. Nice. Now, is this lava resistant? Maybe. This may be the lava resist resistant armor I've been looking for, you guys. Speaking of uh, armor, let's put the uh, armor over here before I can forget about it, golly. Uh, sort. There you go. Mm, yep, that's good. Oh, yeah, we have a wizard hat now, which is kind of crazy. 15% increased magic damage. That's actually pretty decent. But uh, I also want to go... Where was it? Do I have to go to this thing? The Tinker's thing? Or do I have to actually have it in my inventory? I, I, that might be what... Uh, Oh, yep, yeah, there it is right there. Obsidian shield. Equipable. Uh, equipable. Can be worn in vanity slots, two defense, grand immunity to knockback, and fire blocks. So let's do that, you guys. Boom. Let's put it over here. So now we're immune to knockback. And we got to uh, increase movement speed. So, hey, that, that's, that's good, I guess. I guess we can go to uh, Zahn. We have a little bit of money. Like, nothing too crazy. I mean, this is probably going to be expensive, but... Four gold, yeah. Forget that. Okay, we have a little bit of better movement speed now, which is good. So let's, let's just keep that there. Oh yeah, I forget we have these extra- we can- we can- we can keep the string over there. I don't, I don't think I need to actually put that up, right? Where was that? Up there? I think so, yeah. If I wanted to actually use my uh, yo-yo, I could just put it over here, right? Yeah. Just put that there. I don't need to actually get rid of it. Spiked Nazar. Uh, yeah, you guys told me about that. What it actually did. I was completely wrong with it, but whatever, not that big of a deal. But now we've got- hold on, let's take off the, uh, the chef's armor. There you go. Oh my gosh! Oh, and then we've got the flames coming out of us now. I look cr- and I've got the shield now, too. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I look amazing. I look like 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 a volcano or something with, like, lava coming out of it. It's crazy. Holy. <laughs> Let's put the chef's outfit back on. Hold on. Yeah, just right-click. Boom, boom. Nice. Then we got the wizard helmet. I, I, I need to look up Tim. I need to see what it says about Tim, because this is so weird. Like, who is Tim? Why is killing him, like, some big deal? Wait, what? Hold on. Tim is a rare enemy found in the lower cavern layer, with an appearance similar to Dark Caster's. He can be distinguished by his wizard hat, which is guaranteed to drop when he is defeated. Like other casters, Tim will fire three chaos balls that pass through solid blocks before teleporting to another visible location on screen. So what really is the point of this guy? I don't know. Okay, it says Tim's spawn rate increase is described in change logs as occurring if the player needs his hat. This increase is actually triggered by wearing one of the gem-crafted variations of robes, which, uh, okay. Oh yeah, I could look him up in the bestiary. It's telling me to look him up in the bestiary. Let's do that. Where is Tim at on this? Is he an NPC or like an act like a random mob or where would he be on this? Yeah, oh, there he is, I think. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say anything about it. He's dead now. Pfft, okay. Whatever. Well, at least we, uh, discovered him, so that's kind of cool. Anyways, uh, what was I doing? I don't know what I was doing. Uh... I'm like, I want to go deep enough to where we could actually find... You know what, let's... If I'm going to build those those bases underground, in, in the caves... Where would I put them? Hmm, man, look at all the amethyst. Like, would I put it, like, down here or something? <laughs> would I actually do that, like, in one of these obsidian, like, towers or... Whatever you'd call that? Maybe. Like, at least I'd be all the way down there, but I don't want to be all the way down there. Like, if what if I just want to go mining, right? <laughs> I don't know if I want to go through all that if I just want to go mining. So, uh... Man, if I if I built their house... Like, I don't want to build their house too much... Uh, too close to lava or anything like that. Maybe I'll build it, like, here in this mushroom area? This might be relatively safe. And then, of course, from there, it's not too hard to go down to the Hexstone area, right? That should be alright. And it's relatively safe from lava, so... Yeah, instead of building it in this random mushroom area, we're going to build it in this random mushroom area. That sounds fair. Yeah... That should be good. So yeah, let's go build Oten. What else? Zahn and the Clothier. Let's go build their bases in the blue mushroom area down there. And while we're down there, let's go see. Are we resistant to lava now? And if we are, oh my gosh, does that change things hardcore here, you guys. Man. 
Because I have insanely good armor right now. Like, like, what is our armor rating? We're at 32. We're at, we're at like 27 with our uh, previous armor and even like 24, 25. I switched uh, to the other armor, which was, uh, what was it? The meteorite armor or something like that. But yeah, the, the crimson armor, the meteorite armor, 25, 24 to 27 ish, depending on what I was wearing and if I had the night vision goggles. But going all the way up to like 32 or whatever we are right now. Well, we have the shield too. Knowing that, uh, yeah, well, that, yeah, it does give me two defense. Uh, the, the, Obsidian Skull had like an extra two defense on top of it earlier, so yeah, I guess it went down technically there, I guess you could say. But whatever, not that big of a deal. Oh yeah, we have... Oh, I should, probably should have made more buckets. Whatever. <laughs> I, I still only have one right now. We, we still have some Obsidian. We, we are, uh, I guess we can get some. It's not going to be that hard, I guess, but... Let's go over here. Uh, but yeah, we have a lot of Hexstone bars, like eight of them back home. So that, that's, that's a good start, I'd say. Let's see, where do I go from here to here? No, this doesn't seem... Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, man, I missed it. I need to go upwards. Yep. Didn't need to fall down there. I need to go up to the right. And... Oh, hey, look at that. There's a Mother Slime slash Black Slime there? Can't even fit through that hole because it's so heckin' thick. There you go. Got it. And got it. Second kids, too. Nice. All right. Well, let's go over here. Let's go build the base. Uh, oh, man. Hold on. I'm not able to make it. Oh, I have the workbench. I'm like, there. yeah, there is a... I might be able to make them base out of, like, mushroom stuff. I guess I'll have to do that for right now, because I, I can't afford anything else right now, right? Jeez. Place down some torches here, because I didn't place any torches there randomly. Alright. And, uh, kill those bats and stuff. And here we are. Nice. Yeah, we can get, we can grab some of these mushrooms here and use the mushrooms for building purposes. So that's going to be fine, I suppose. As well as cut down these bigger mushrooms here. Get even more mushrooms. Yeah, glowing mushroom. And then, of course, we can just harvest these just by, uh, swinging our sword. And this is going to be fine. Yeah, look at that. Now, here's lava. I don't want to test it on that. Let's go over to this. Hmm. I don't know if I want to test it on that either. Where am I going to be comfortable testing this out? Oh man, what, what kind of worm is that chasing towards me? I don't know. There we go. Put this down with an axe. How many of those? Yeah, we have 16 glowing. I think we need a pretty good, decent amount of that. But we could, we could probably just make their house out of like stone or something. And then of course I need to make their workbench. Oh, yeah, this is just a tiny little worm though. Killed that. That's good. Man, I don't know where I want to test this lava thing. Okay, let's test it over here with the gold. Test it here. Do I want to... Whoa! We're at 400 health. Okay, we still take damage from lava, though. That sucks. So is there no armor that's, like, resistant to fire and... Or... I mean, this might be resistant to, like, actually fire, but, like, not lava, I guess. Ah, that sucks. I guess that'd be a little bit OP, huh? Yeah, I, like, actually aren't- maybe, maybe there's a hard mode that maybe- maybe it's not possible in pre-hard mode. But, uh, there are a lot of mushrooms, like, stuck in that area. I really want to go over there. Even over here, too. Sheesh. Uh, let's find that. Now I'm placing torches. Yeah, there's, like, a worm or something like that down there. It's, like, making a lot of noise. Yeah, it can't reach me because it's only able to, like, jump up and stuff. Let's go up here. There's a lot of mushrooms stuck up here. And I can make a few, uh... Not, not take- because I have, I have, like, two workbenches on me right now. I just need to make, like, chairs or something like that. And I think I might be able to right now, though. Let's find that. There you go. Get the torch back. And uh, I suppose we can just go down a little bit. So it was this one, right? But just lower. Yeah, down there. So let's, let's go down there. Let's go mine those mushrooms. Zoom out a little bit. Let's go mine these mushrooms here. And uh, probably, like, I don't know, use dirt or something like that to just kind of flatten out the foundation. So we could use that to, uh... Yeah, like, basically, like, right here. To, uh, to build their base. So, maybe, like, right here we can... Start digging out like this island right here. This random island that don't even shouldn't even exist. Just grab this, grab a bunch of mud and dirt and other stuff here. There's another shelly right there we're gonna have to take care of. You know, let's try out that new uh that new there you go. Yeah, look at that. Look at how far we can go. I think we have the uh the extra reach on this uh yo-yo, so that's good. Yeah, that yo-yo is crazy, you guys. Man. There you go, get more glowing mushrooms there. Nice. Let's just uh there you go. Get the mud blocks or whatever here. Flatten this out like this. I don't have a hammer on me, so that's just going to look like ugly as butt right there, at least temporarily. But well, this should be more than enough. Uh, do I have cobble on my inventory or stone? I got some stone. Ah, I put up the other stone. Man. Uh, do I? Is it my piggy bank? It, I might have stone in my piggy bank. Let me check. Uh, I do. Nice. Perfect. Do I have anything? Oh, yeah, I've got wood in there, too. So I guess I could use that. Silver coins and... Yeah, let's put up that gold just in case we I can die again. We don't lose another gold. Yeah, because we're only down to 13 gold now. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I guess I'll keep the wood there. That'll be fine. Yeah, let's uh, let's get the piggy bank back first of all. Let's get that that back too. And we're going to, have to measure this out. So 
What was it? Let's put the uh, cobblestone in the hot bar. Where did I put? There it is, right there. Let's get the ruler out. There you go. I guess we could put. Uh, yeah, starting from like right here. This would be fine. Oh, what? Oh, another miner guy there. But, like six tall. That's basically all we need. And then from here to like what was it? Nine wide. And I'm standing on one right here, so I guess right there, I would place another block. So that would be one room here. There you go. I think. Might be misremembering here, but it might not need to be exactly this big. We're going to build three of these houses like right next to each other, so that's going to be good. So right here, let's do another nine, so about right there is good for another block. I'm getting hit by the bat! Get him! Get the bat! Got him, nice. And let's build the ceiling, connect it up. And of course we can make some doors and stuff here later, but for right now, I'm just making the outer shell. We could, we could always upgrade and improve these in the future. For right now though, I'm, I'm just place them like this, so we could actually just move them down here and hopefully get our, uh, what do you call it? Pylon! I had to think about it for a second there, just <laughs> make sure I said the right word. I, I was about to say totem again. But yeah, pylon. So now we got that floating over there. We got space for three doors here. We can just place down torches here on the entrance and exit of each uh, room. And then of course we need to make a lot of bad- I don't know if we can make- oh whoops, what in the world happened there? Oh, uh, I, th I guess it was already, like, almost broken there, huh? Yeah, we need to... I don't know if we can make cobblestone. Do I have to check? But yeah, let's make a... Let's see, where is it? Yeah, I can make a mushroom workbench. I can make a few of these. Let's just make them out of can. There you go, make all three of them out of can mushrooms. Just because what? <laughs> just as a meme. And can I make any... Oh, yeah, I have to make the chairs in the uh, thing. Let's get rid of the ruler now, because I don't need that. And let's get this. Boom, boom, got him. <laughs> let's place down their uh, workbenches now. And there you go. Oh, whoops. Place that there. There you go. Can't place it there because it was like uneven or something stupid. So there you go. And now we can actually craft the chairs. So one, two, three. All right, perfect. Let's place them down. Place this one uh, facing that away. Place this one facing uh, this away. And I'm guessing this one would be that way too. And let's place, uh, let's get some doors. Get, uh, what was that? How many doors? One, two, three, four doors. Okay. Four doors. Perfect. Place that there. And, uh, I might even be able to make back- Oh, what in the world does that thing have? It's got, like, a heckin' sword in its head. Hey, you know you have a sword in your head. There you got him. <laughs> that was so stupid. Alright, well, at least I know these guys can't open up doors, so that's good, but, uh, can I make backgrounds here? I can! I can make stone walls! Awesome! That saves us a lot of resources here, because I got, like, a thousand heckin' stone up there, so... Uh, let's get- Let's get, like, 200. That's probably enough. Because I know you need a decent amount, like 60-something like that, for one of these rooms, so... This this should be fine, at least... At least for right now. We've got the lighting, we got the workbench, we've... Oh, another black slash mother slime down there. Never mind, it's dead. <laughs> it just, like, involves a lava and kills itself. But yeah, we have pretty much... Every, oh, and another... Uh, that's a black slime slash... I don't know what the kid slimes were called, I forget. You know, whenever you kill a mother slime, it, like, drops a bunch of, uh, smaller slimes that are also black slimes. But I think they have, like, a special name. I forgot what it was. I don't know. These might be them. Maybe. Yeah, because there's, like, three of them I'm seeing. I see two of them right now. Yeah, they're definitely aggro on me. They definitely want to get killed. Where are they? Let's see. There, we got that one. And that one's dead. Oh! Almost fell into egg and lava and died. Golly. But, yeah, there we go. So, now we've got this set up down here. Is this good? Can I move the clothier? The... Where are these guys? Hold on. Here, a clothier. Yep, yeah, boom. Got him. Demolitionist. Who else? Oten. Where is he? There he is. Boom. And I did get a comment saying I could sleep or something. I don't have a bed right now, though. So, I guess I'll just have to wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what in the world? Hold on. What in the world is that thing? Sp oh, it's a spore bat. I thought it was like a special thing. All right. Well, it's dead now, so whatever. I know, they're coming down here, so hopefully they're going to be fine with their new area. So, I'm like, it's, it's somewhat temporary, and at the same time, like, when am I ever going to upgrade that, right? But, at the same time, I, all I really want from them is a heckin' totem, so we can put it down here and easily come down here, no problemo. But, even then, if we want to use the totem, we have to go all the way to the heckin' desert, basically. Because we still have to go to... Oh, what in the world is Oten doing? Or, uh, Zon doing? Is there actually a cave that connects from there to here? Maybe. Golly, if there is, he's discovering it. Sheesh. 
All right, well, I don't know. But, uh, oh, yeah, I, I know, apparently, yeah, I can I can leave the game and come back and all that stuff. Now that'll, that'll, that'll make them uh, come over here, too. Is it me or that looks like something right there? Like, uh, what? Or I guess they can get killed like that and they'll respawn, maybe. But yeah, Zahn just like fell into something and it got killed. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Zahn? Jeez. But yeah, that looks like some sort of structure down there. Does that look like something to you guys? I'm like, it's in lava, so it's going to be hard to kind of get down there and not, you know, die. But, uh, I'm going to try. Let's see. I'm like, we are in the area. Might as well go back down to the Hexstone area and try and get some more Hexstone, right? It's going to be really good to get, you know, the- Oh, oh, another one of those skeletons with a heckin' sword in his head. You know what? I'm going to do this. Oh, I hit a bat. Uh, got him. And got him. Nice. I love that thing. That thing is amazing. And there's more silt over there, too. That's a lot of silt. Like, all that right there is silt, but, like, lava's on top of it, so that sucks. But down there, what is that? Like, that looks like some sort of, like, a tent or something? Like, can I go down there? Let, let, let's platform down there. There we go. Oh. Okay, we're good. I don't know if Zahn, I think Zahn is going to respawn, like, after time passes, you know? Oh. There you go. Oh, I just destroyed it right there. I don't know what that was, but it's gone now. <laughs> but yeah, I think I think Zon's supposed to time, uh, like at, at the start of a new day or whatever. Oh, it already passed though, right? So it, I don't know, or maybe one whole day, one whole in-game day has to pass before he uh, respawns. I think something like that, something around those uh, those lines. Either way, we have a pretty good safe base right here. Kill that guy in one hit, no problem. Pretty good safe base here. I guess we can try and drop some of the trash before we go down there and try and get some more egg and egg stone, right? So let's get rid of all that stuff. Get rid of this cobblestone or cobblestone. Let's get rid of the cobblestone walls. I don't need that. All right. Well, we're pretty well set right now, I'd say. Plumber's hat. What? Where did I get that? I don't know. But it's a vanity item. Is that a Mario hat or something? Seems like it. <laughs> I'm gonna get copyright right from wearing that. But we have an egg and Mario hat now. So that's funny. Now, oh man, another heckin' black slime there. Hold on, yep. Yep, black slime. It says it's a black slime. So yeah, that answers that question. Red husk. Yeah, isn't that supposed to be for like red dye or something? Yeah, it is. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. So I can make my own red dye. But I'll probably end up just buying it or whatever. Is that more, uh, that's more emeralds, I think. Now where do we go? Oh yeah, oh man, I'm stupid. I literally built their house on top of where I knew- Oh god, this guy's breaking in. Undead miner. Open up the door, let him in. There you go. Uh... What am I doing? Oh, I guess I would just do this. I was about to say, like, where do we go to go, like, down from here? But, uh, yeah. Let's get, uh, platforms. Do this. And I guess we'll just, uh... There you go. It's gonna be how we get in and out of here, huh? And then let's place a torch. And that takes us down here, so that's good. Nice. Alright, well, that's gonna be helpful. Mmm. I'm getting killed by the bat. I should probably place some more platforms here. So, uh... You know, in case I get heckin' stuck. And... There you go. And maybe I'll place another... Right here. There you go. All right. What in the world? Oh, it has a potion inside of it. Yeah. See, look at that. That's a lot better there. That's good. All right. Well, where I'm going to go from here? Yeah. There's some more. Uh, I don't know if that's diamond or what. So we get a such. Yeah. Where do we go from here? Did I get lost? Am I going the wrong way? Uh. I don't, yeah. I don't think so. This looks familiar. So I guess I can go get some more hexstone or explore a little bit more in the uh, in the area. I suppose. Is that more? Yeah, that's more red husk right there. I don't care about that, honestly. Guess I'll just keep going down and I guess go explore another obsidian area. Unfortunately, we're not like resistant to lava right now, so still gonna be really risky. That's a uh, not obsidian, but uh, amethyst right there. <sighs> Almost just fell down in lava immediately. <laughs> Let's go back down. We have we have better armor overall right now, which is good. If if that, if that summons in the guy again, yeah, we're dead. But, uh, pretty much anything else, we, we should be able to take him on, no problem, I'm sure, so, I don't think we need to worry about that. Let's keep going to the right, though, because we didn't really explore too much over there, in that direction, that is. Oh, more heck, oh yeah, look at that, that's, that was a fire blossom, okay. I got some crazy music playing now. Let me get, to, uh, let me get this thing out, just so I could use it in case I need to, heck, and attack something, so there you go. Nice. Now we can go down there, yeah, and of course we're taking, like, no damage right now, which is good, because we have the, we have, like, double fire protection right now, like, the, I think, I think our armor is, like, if I take the shield off, am I still fire resistant, basically? If I take that away, like, am I still, it, it, it's... Wait, what, Nagurk? 
Wait, what happened to Zop? Oh, this armor is not fire resistant. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, look at that. I do need the shield still. But we have another, uh... Tink goblin tinkerer, unfortunately. I guess Zahn is actually, he actually just straight up died. Like, <laughs> like he's not respawning. So that sucks. Let me get them out. There you go. So that, that really sucks. I guess we have another uh, goblin tinkerer. Which I guess we'll go back to him real quick though. Hold on. Maybe I went down here a little bit too soon. Let's go see if he's going to sell me the totem. Hopefully he is. Oh, uh, let's get a break. There you go. Just because I knew I was going to need a break for my heckin' uh, my jetpack, shoes, rocket boots, whatever it's called. There you go. And let's go back up. So right here, yep, this is where we go back in. Oh! Okay. That was risky as heck, but yeah, there we go. That's a lot safer than using rocket boots right there. Alright, let's go back up. And we don't need to go too far up, right? Because this guy, because he, he just arrived, right? So he should just spawn immediately, right? Where uh, he's assigned, I think, right? Or do we have another guy? Yeah, there he is right there. Okay, well, that's good. And where are the other guys at? Uh, they still, yeah, they're still just up there. I guess it'll take, it'll probably take a little while before they'll give me the, uh, the totem. Because I think the, uh, the girl, uh, the flower girl, she didn't give me the totem until that, uh, other one showed up. So we need to wait until, like, more NPCs show up before he actually trades with me, unfortunately. But I wonder if this Nagurk guy is going to sell me anything new. Eh, seems about the same as before. What do you have to say about this now, happiness? Perfect! Oh, look at this. Wait, hold on. Wait, what? The lack of annoying, annoying neighbors adequately meets my needs. I detect eerie vibes from Sebastian the Clothier as if they contain dark secrets. I don't like the feeling. So I guess I'll keep Sebastian upstairs, I suppose. So, let's see. How do I do that from here? I don't think I can. I don't think I could assign someone a house if I'm, like, not there, right? I think I actually have to be up there, so... If that's the case, I guess I'll teleport back home again. There we go. And then reassign Sebastian to this room. Yeah, down there. You, you stay there, Sebastian. Uh, yeah, sure. Then Oten. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to leave my game and come back. Because that should, like, reset them, right? So if I do that, how do I do that? There we go. Settings, save and exit. Yep. And let's rejoin. There we go. So are they at their, uh... I th Wait, hold on. Yeah, they're Oten still there. What? Why is he still there? Oten, you should be like all the way down there. Wait, is he at? What? Why is Oten? What? Oh my gosh, I have to go back down there. Are you kidding me? Why is Oten got reassigned back up here? Man, oh, I have to go back all the way through all that. Are you kidding me? All right, well, let me go back all the way through that, and then I'll leave my game again, and hopefully Oten will actually be down there. Golly. I'll see you guys here in a bit once I do all that again. Man. <laughs> oh, the things I do for these NPCs, and they don't even appreciate it.